Nurses and future nurses, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And on today's episode of Nurse Clement B, I am going to teach you instrumentation. Knowing basic medical instruments in nursing is very, very important. As a midwife, as a student nurse, it is important that you have the basic knowledge of your instruments. Know them by name and their function. It is very important. If you want to get this knowledge, please do not skip this video. Stay back and watch this video till the end. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Nurse Clement B. Do not forget to share, like and comment. And in case there is any procedure or instrument you want me to explain, please drop it at the comment section. Nurse Clement B is here to assist you. So today I'm going to concentrate only on midwifery instruments, medical instruments for midwifery. So as you can see, I have lots of instruments in front of me. So now can you concentrate and go through this class with me at Nurse Clement B. You can also call me Nurse Blessing Clement. I love you all. So today as you can see here let me start with all the scissors that you're seeing so i have different types of scissors here those three scissors permit me to call it scissors <laughs> um, these three scissors are called episiotomy scissors episiotomy scissors you see this blunt end it is for you to insert it through the vagina like this vagina wall so that you can cut so this go into the vagina and while this one outside and then you cut right during childbirth so this is what we call episiotomy scissors it is used in during it is used to tear the vagina canal so that to aid child to aid the delivery of a child right so these three scissors are called episiotomy scissors right so the next one is umbilical cord scissors. Just as the shape is, right? Umbilical cord scissors. Now, during delivery, this scissors is being used to cut the umbilical cord during delivery, right? Next is the stitch removal. So this is called stitch removal scissors right so as you can see the other edge is straight well the the uh the one of the edge is not straight it has a moon like shape and a tip a sharp tip so that you can put this tip inside the a stitched uh a, a suture and cut it this way right so this is what we call See the shape? This is what we call stitch removal scissors. I hope you understand. The first step I'm going to explain is this first step. The next first step I'm going to explain is this first step, right? So the name of this first step is called Penning Pennington or Duval first step. You can also call it triangular eyelet jaws, right? Did you get the name Pennington, Pennington or Duval Fossep? And you can also call it triangular eyelet jaw. It is designed for a traumatic, traumatic handling of tissue. So sometimes you may not be wrong if you call it tissue holding for sale, right? But the real name is Pennington or Duval Fossep. It is used to handle, to clip a traumatic tissue like this way, right? And you clip it this way, right? So this is it. The next Medical instruments that we are going to use, commonly used in mid uh, gynecological situations or in midwifery, is the Sims vagina speculum. Look at the shape. It's like, when you put it this way, it's like an M shape. And if you turn it upside down, it's like W shape, right? So this is what we call Sims vagina speculum. 
and since vaginal speculum it is used to retract the vaginal wall during gynecological procedures right so you use this the caregiver hold it this way inside it through the vaginal orifice and retract the vaginal uh, wall to perform um, gynecological procedures right so this is same vaginal speculum and they come in this shape so all these three they are called seams vagina speculum okay. so now the next um, instrument is couscous vagina speculum so these two are called couscous vagina speculum couscous vagina speculum is an instrument that is being used or is an instrument that is being used to open the vaginal or uh, canal to perform gynecological procedure for example let's assume that this is a vaginal orifice then you close it this way and then you insert it the med uh, after inserting it then you use this to open Wait. So inserting it like this into the vagina, then you press this way, right, and open the vaginal canal. Then you use this screw, right? Use this screw to to put it in position to make make sure that it is open. So when you screw this screw this way, then the vagina orifice canal will be open while it's open it will aid the caregiver to view the cervix and it's while viewing the cervix you can take maybe a procedure you want to perform for taking high vagina swab or to view the cervix for any trauma in the cervix or to insert a medication in the, close to the uh, cervix right and you can also use this instrument if you want to insert, if you want to insert IUD, right? Intrauterine device, right? So you can use it. And if you want to lose it after the procedure, then you unscrew the knot that which you have screwed. Then you see as you are seeing it's coming down as in closing. Then you unscrew it this way and it's closed. Then you pull it out this way, out of the vaginal canal then please do not forget that whenever you want to remove, make sure that you close it. Do not try to remove it while it's open. Always close it, right? The next gynecological forcep is MVA forcep, right? So the next forcep is MVA forcep, and MVA stands for manual vacuum aspiration so this forceps it can be metallic like this and it can become in plastics right so in my today's video i'm going to i'm going to i'm using this uh, metallic one so it comes in different sizes as you can see this as you can see this one is bigger while this one is uh, medium and this one is smaller the, the opening of the the opening at the tip is, is it that indicates the size right for example the size determine which um which uh, products you want to remove from the uterus if the products are these big big products with a product of a, a child of a, a, a fetus of a fetus and then or a retained placenta right you can use this because the opening it's a big large so it can pull the products the retained products from the uterus now for example if you want to use this remember i a while ago i explained um couscous vaginal speculum so i'm going to demonstrate on how you can use this for example this my hand is the vaginal canal and we are viewing the the cervix right so we have to you have to the medical the caregiver will insert this um mva for step inside right inside the cervix and then attach a vacuum here create a vacuum and then pull out the product so this is how we use that is why you have to use 
this couscous vagina speculum build the cervix make sure that the cervix is dilated and then you pull out you insert this mva forcep and pull out the evacuate the product that is being retained in the uterus the next for sale the next medical instrument is dilators cervical dilators as you can see it comes in different sizes let's take for example this as you can see there are sizes on them this one is size 9 and this one is size 15 so now somebody may ask what's the use of these cervical dilators of course dilate the sub cervix right for example a woman is um she had an, uh, a dead fetus and the cervix is not dilating so you can use this one to dilate the cervix so it helps to ripen the cervix when the caregiver wants to use this you cannot start with this size the biggest size you start with the smallest size first of all you insert this into the cervix let's take for example this one is the cervix and you want to open the cervix you start inserting it this way this one after this one has entered then you keep it aside and take the next size so you keep doing this gradually and patiently you keep doing till you reach to the large to the highest door the biggest size right so these are cervical dilators and it is being used to dilate the cervix the next concept the next is medical instruments is called the pelvimeter this is what we call pelvimeter i don't as you can see yes this is called pelvimeter and it may also be called colias pelvimeter or external pelvimeter right it is used in obstetrics to measure the external pelvic dimension of a pregnant woman especially especially during the following right interspenous diameter intercrystal diameter external conjugates to assess in tape that you can that you can use to measure the diameter of the pelvic so as you can see it is being graduated with numbers and it's been measured in centimeter right so you can see these measurements right these graduations right so it is being used to measure the the, the dimension of the the pelvic dimension of a pregnant woman to assess whether the woman pelvic is likely to for ad, for vagina delivery for adequate vagina delivery so i hope to, tomorrow if you see this first you can be able to proudly say that this is pelvimeter forcep is uterine sound forcep as you can see there are this curved uh, forcep that is being graduated with numbers also they are being graduated with numbers that you can measure the uterus from the cervix to the fundus right to know the length of the uterus so it's been inserted through the vaginal canal to uh, through the cervix to the fundus to measure the uterus the uterus length so this is what we call uterine sounds it's being graduated with numbers next um, instrument as you can see this one somebody will say Whoa, wow what is this what is this right these are called Darwin's abdominal retractor and you can also call them heavy abdominal retractor because of this of course it's very heavy it's heavy so it is called abdo heavy abdominal retractor or Darwin's abdominal retractor it is commonly used to hold back abdominal wall during surgeries such as laparotomies or caesarean session so when the abdomen is being uh, in incised or being um teared with a surgical blade the the, the person assisting 
the medical personnel that is assisting hold this the other way and the, sur uh, the, the surgeon also pull this the other way and because this is heavy it helps to pull the abdominal wall back so that they can have easy access to the abdominal content right so these are called heavy abdominal retractor so the next four step also this ones they are called abdominal retractors too during it is being used to retract the abdominal wall during surgeries this way right it is called abdominal retractors too the next four step that we have here are this is what we call Alice forceps. Alice forceps or Alice clam, right? So this are Alice forceps. It has a uh, serrated jaws with interlocking teeth which adhere firmly to tissues. These are the serrated jaws, as you can see. Look at these teeth. So whenever you clip, you want to clip a tissue. It helps to clip a tissue very firm. As you can see, I cannot pull it. So it helps to hold a tissue tightly, right? Firmly. Best suited for grasping, best suited for grasping tough tissues such as the breast, the bowel during resections right so next time when they ask you or during exams you can proudly say that these are alice's forceps so it has a serrat it has a serrated jaws with interlocking teeth which adheres firmly to tissues and it is best suited for tissues such as tissues that are being located in the breast or bowel during recession